Before the video starts, everyone, shout out to the sponsor for today's video, Karenzi.net. This website hosts basically GTA 5, modded accounts, boosting services, and much more features. On this website as well, it's not only GTA 5, there are a variety of other games as well, so you can check that out for yourself. But the main, um, I guess, purpose of this website is GTA 5 services. You can always hit them up on Instagram, and they have a lot of um, crazy-ass accounts and services. So... Yeah, link in the description, and let's get straight into the video, everyone. GTA 5 solo card duplication glitch, working after the patch of 1.62. To start this glitch, you guys are going to hop inside the car you guys want to duplicate. Also, the requirements is that you will need an Avenger workshop, and, um, an Avenger workshop, a facility workshop, an office garage that isn't full, and that's basically it. Anyways, once you guys have now hopped inside of the car you want to duplicate, you want to take it in the back of your Avenger, change something on the car, then exit back out of the Avenger. From here, you guys are now going to drive this car out, then return your personal vehicle to storage, which you guys will see right now. All right. Also, guys, in your facility, you want to have a car that you do not care about losing. I'm going to say that one more time. In your facility, you want to have a car that you do not care about losing because we're going to be um, duplicating it over. Anyways, guys, from here, what you guys want to do is, is simply drive it out, Return personal vehicle to storage. Sign, sign up as an MC club. Once you guys sign up as an MC club, call out any bike. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. So right now, I just called out the Fagio. Once you, guys, once you guys have now called out any car, or I mean not car, but bike, you want to drive it inside of your, um, your facility. Once you guys are now driving in your facility, when it tells you what car do you want to replace it with, you just back out. So watch this. Boom, circle, and then accept this alert. Once you guys have now done that, you guys want to make your way back to the um, um, the card that you are duplicating. And sorry, guys, that the video is somewhat long. It's only five minutes, but I tried my best speeding up everything. But yeah, if you guys have any questions or concerns, let me know. And if you are curious, this video was recorded 30 minutes ago. Anyways, you're going to enter back inside of your Avenger. And what should happen is when you enter back inside of your Avenger, you won't actually have the car. So like this. From here, you're going to make your way to the, the front of the thing and you're going to enter the cockpit. What's going to happen is you click X on enter cockpit. Now, don't even touch your controller. Just let your character stand here. After roughly 20 to 30 seconds, what's going to happen is, is you guys are going to automatically get kicked out. So right now, I'm pretty sure this is when I get kicked out. And three, two, one, it should glitch me out of the facility. Once it has now done that, you guys are going to open up your interaction menu, call it like an oppressor mark two or something, and you guys are going to make your way to your office garage. So right now, I just caught out my presser. Obviously, I sped up the gameplay to keep it nice and short. But you're going to make your way down there. Once you guys have now arrived here, what you guys have to do is open up your uh, phone, call up your mechanic, and you're going to be calling out the car that you do not care about losing, which is stored in your facility. And once again, guys, I did mention that at the start of the video. Anyways, once you guys have now caught up the car, for me, I have an Ignis that I don't really care about. I probably should have used the Elegy because the Ignis is still... A decent amount of money, but oh well. Anyways, once you guys have now caught out the car that you do not care about losing, all you guys want to do now is basically hop in any street car. So right now, um, I'm just going to hop in this random ass street car that's right here. And now you're going to drive it in the garage um, that has the free empty spaces. So my office garage 2 is 17 out of 20, which means there is three spaces left. So I'm going to go to my office garage 2 and enter in there. What's going to happen is... You're going to load it as normal, but then after 20 seconds, you're just going to casually just somehow spawn your facility. I don't even know how these glitches work, to be honest. This is just GDA for you, I guess. But um, yeah, you guys will load. Get all these office animations. Three, two, and one. Yep, there you go. From here, you guys, you want to hop in the car that you, dupli um, the car that you wanted to duplicate. You're going to change something in the car. After you change something in the car, the car that you caught out before will turn in to the um, car that you're duplicating. So for me right now, I'm just duplicating the Civic. Also, it would be highly recommendable to duplicate something like an EC because they sell for the most amount of money, obviously. But that's up to you guys. I just duplicated this because I wasn't bothered calling out my um, EC to my facility. May exit the vehicle. And then after you change something, boom, the Civic's now here. Change something as well on it. And just like that, you've done it. Use custom plates, everyone. Subscribe and like. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.